You ready to do these? I'm ready. Let's do them. Today is Monday, November 14th. We have some breaking news that has just come into the studio. Susan. Thank you, Brady. Psilocybin Cuban cysts, psychedelic mushrooms. Wait, Greek philosophers used to take those and have their best ideas. This is true. They've been found in DVC food, Pleasant Hill. I had that for lunch. Oh, gosh. The, the Culinary Academy food? Of course, it's the best. <sighs> Supposedly switched with the average white button mushroom, which has antioxidants. How many antioxidants? Twelve times more than the previously top-rated ergothionine sources. That's a lot of antioxidants. It is. Ergothionine, a metabolite produced by fungi, helps fight cancer and enhance the immune system. Antioxidants do not decrease when cooked, and they're actually benefit, or they actually benefit and offer maximum nutrients because they're walking the spores. That's a lot of antioxidants and nutrients. And now to a researcher who knows more about <laughs> mushrooms than we do. Six ways mushrooms can save the world. Number one, micro-remediation. That's where we break down toxins in the soil. Number two, microfiltration. That's the cleaning of water. Number three, micromedicine. Removing toxins, helping prevent disease. Number four, mycopesticides. Killing insects without using harmful pesticides. Number five, mycanol. Biofuel by using the cellulose produced by the mushrooms. Number six, mycoforestry. Providing nutrients and circulating minerals between other plants. Mushrooms like the internet chance for information amongst the forestry and animals. Being a mycologist, I'm a botanist. He means botanist. Who specializes in the study of fungi. So I'm here to tell you, in my expert opinion, mushrooms need saving so mushrooms can save the world. And now we go to Smokey for the weather. Lots of clouds! And here we see a diagram showing the difference between regular composting and composting with the use of mushroom cultivation. On the left we see organic matter that has been composted and we see all we get is soil. On the right side we see organic matter which has been introduced to mushroom mycelium and through this cultivation we get, we get four outcomes. Gourmet mushrooms used for culinary needs. We, we have medicinal mushrooms that can be used for human benefit. Uh, we have soil that is highly enriched with nutrients for plants and other trees. And here we have bioremediation which helps rid the environment of contaminants. Thank you. I had no idea mush all mushrooms were fungi, but not all fungi is mushrooms. Quite entertaining. Have you heard of the lion's mane? I have, actually. The lion's mane mushroom helps maintain a healthy brain by repairing neurons. And it's really delicious. Really? Yes. I have never consumed it. How about, how about the maitake mushroom? Maitake mushroom. I have heard a little bit about the maitake mushroom. Helps strengthen the immune system, helps uh, antiviral properties, and it also fights cancer. Oh, it contains works. a lot of AHCC. What's AHCC? Active hexose correlated co compounds, which help anti-inflammatory um, along with asthma, allergies, while also helping to prevent diabetes, osteoporosis, and cancer. Very interesting. It is. Why don't we go talk to our uh, park ranger and see what else he can tell us about mushrooms. I think he's working on the oyster mushroom? I believe he is. Which I think the oyster mushroom is particularly helpful for ridding the environment of oils and fuels. Like petroleum and di- uh... <laughs> <laughs> like petroleum... That's right! Petroleum! Pet petroleum! Alright, let's go to him. Frank Miller here with the Park Rangers. I'm going to talk to you briefly about the oyster mushrooms. These oyster mushrooms have the unique ability to remove toxic substances from soil or decontaminating soil. These toxins include diesel, dioxin, and other hydrocarbons. Oyster mushrooms do this by a process called micromediation. This process does this 
when mycelium expands its hyphae or the tips of its rooting system, the hyphae releases a heap of enzymes that break down plant, animal, mineral, and hydrocarbons, turning them into food for the mushroom. This food ends up becoming completely clean soil. This process takes, on average, eight weeks to totally detoxify one cubic yard of contaminated soil. After this decontamination process, mycelium could last in the soil for over a thousand years by itself. Seventy thousand mushroom species that have been identified on Earth today. Over two hundred and fifty are edible, and hundred eighty are psychedelic. And only forty glow in the dark. The phosphorescent light, called foxfire, is produced by enzymes and other chemicals. Fun fact: Foxfire mushrooms were once used on the first submarine, proposed by an idea by Benjamin Franklin, and this ingenious idea worked. Another interesting fact, mycelium can act as a filtration system. As seen by here, mycelium can cleanse up polluted and disease-ridden waters. The use of mycelial mats, which is a combination of compost infused with mushrooms, also can soak up potential danger. These mats may also be used to prevent erosion. They can tie together soil and increase the potential of other plants to grow. Areas prone to floods may also be retrofitted with these mats, proving to be cost-effective and cement-free. This water here is no longer needed because the mycelium acts as a catalyst for the life cycle. It presents itself within the experiments with the oyster mushrooms that suck up the biofuel as products of life. The mycelium produces spores which attract insects. The insects are eaten by birds. These birds bring the seeds that grow into plants, thus keeping the life cycle going. Save the mushrooms, save the world! Inertia is a property of matter. There are more than 70,000. There are more than 70,000. <laughs> there are more than 70,000. My <laughs> Being a mycologist, I'm a botanist. Botanist? Who studies in the. <laughs> Two, one. Park Ranger Frank Miller signing off. Any questions? Questions? Questions?